happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But I could not come to Motown without our edition of the car of the future, our F015 concept car. We call it Luxury in Motion. Uh, first of all, uh, what we showcased here is a research car uh, with, the, with the target how could uh, future mobility in 2030 look like. And it's clear uh, at the moment, uh, and I believe that's uh, a level four, maybe in five, uh, some situation, uh, that's four because still a driver is on board. We are not thinking without a driver because the steering wheel is on board. Uh, is that today possible or not? No. Uh, uh, how long will it take? It's not clear. But we believe in 2030, so two generations of cars from now on, uh, I believe this vision will become reality. Especially when it comes uh, that's uh, relatively easy when there is still a driving wheel and we stated uh, for Mercedes, we believe the car of the future for Mercedes always will contain a steering wheel because there will be always situation where the customer will love to take over control. Maybe comparable to skiing, upwards, I like the computer, the lift, the downwards, never. I drive by myself. So, uh, therefore, that's easy. It will be complicated if we turn the seat, level four. Mm -hmm. System, complete, have uh, the control. It's so far not possible. Uh, will the customer love such a situation? Of course. So we have to work for. So uh, we came from the situation, is there a demand? And uh, uh, it was demand from the customer side. Yes, of course, because in a terrible traffic situation, in a traffic jam going hours on the autobahn, why the hell I should spend time sitting behind the steering wheel. I would relax, I would concentrate on my work, or I do a conversation with the environment. And I would, of course, use the interior as a living computer uh, to have all the information available. That's the demand side. And now, of course, we have to work on. And it's clear for us, it's a technical challenge it's a legal challenge, it's a regulatory challenge, uh, and it's also a social challenge. But that's the easiest one because uh, we believe around the world, uh, so far it's a, a completely positive discussion. But we should be careful that we not turn a, a, few, a positive story into a negative direction. Nuclear power or uh, all these other topics started positive and went dramatic in the negative direction. And that's exactly the reason we started early with a discussion because this kind of discussion will, in addition to technique, uh, take a lot of time. In the meantime, we see E and S class, we are able to do something, what is the first step, semi-autonomous driving. Uh, with this positive discussion and with this uh, huge support from the regulators, I believe uh, the timing between we come to level uh, two, at least, or first function three, that's a theoretical discussion about series two and three. So in the end, for me, it's clear the next step will be, it will it be possible to, uh, to, to go longer and hi with higher speed without taking over control by steering wheel? Yes, that will be possible. Uh, 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 will it be allowed to do something uh, in parallel? That's critical also from the liability side because if we uh, want to uh, uh, allow this, then we have to be absolutely sure that nothing happens because who so far is a clear rule in place that driver is responsible. And if we 
do the next step, the machine is responsible. We need completely new rules. Maybe we need a black box because if something happens immediately, uh, now we are a Toyota with these uh, famous uh, uh, maybe 10% really reality rest only blaming. So we have to we have to take uh, uh, we, we we have to come in a situation that we as a company uh, can uh, define what really happens. Mm -hmm. And so all these steps are now necessary. Normally, uh, I would say uh, these processes will take 10 or 50 years, but with this huge uh, increased discussion, something will now go much faster. We have a, uh, only a few core uh, strategies. Emission-free driving, accident-free driving slash autonomous driving because accident-free driving will only be possible if we have autonomous functions available and, uh, uh, and then connected car connectivity. So it was clear if we follow since years, decades, the vision of accident-free driving, this step is necessary. In addition with this research I described the beginning, what uh, are new trends, what will the society uh, look like in some years from now. It's for us definitely clear we have to go in this direction, it will come. And uh, uh, now it comes together with the second question, uh, if we are the first going in this direction, if we can uh, deliver cars which the ability to fulfill these criteria is clear, and factor where uh, we as Mercedes can differentiate ourselves, our cars, our brand from the others. So that's a part, uh, we believe, of the future success story uh, for our company. That's the reason we are focusing these key strategies heavily. As always, uh, research really uh, looking what new uh, ideas uh, on the marketplace available which can be helpful for the car of the future. Communication with the front and the rear, a completely new interior design, uh, new large displays and all these features. And surface-wise, uh, this trend came from our designers mm -hmm. to make uh, the car uh, uh, design-wise uh, differentiate the car design wise completely to go in a monolithic uh, design strategy in parallel so that's from the outside it's one uh, metallic uh, surface without any uh, window which disturbs uh, mm -hmm. the surface in parallel there is a clear trend that our customer wanna uh, go for privacy so and that's now possible because you yes it's possible to look look into the car but only limited. Mm -hmm. uh, can you look out? Yes, it's possible because I was sitting in the car on, on the strip too and it was quite, uh, all the feeling what what happens outside. But it's uh, different uh, sitting in this uh, in, in such a uh, designed window. So. Will it be possible to come with such a technology uh, in a serious production car? Not today, it's too expensive, maybe it's not quality-wise uh, proven, but is it a good idea? I believe, yes. Mm -hmm. So, and now that's always the idea with such a research really. Uh, uh, is there an idea we love uh, internally? We bring it to the car and then we start a discussion and feedback afterwards. Uh, so far, a lot positive. Uh, because the idea is completely new. Mm -hmm.